service of CNC Worldwide. CNC Podcasts are a service of CNC News and brought to you by the Greece Chamber of Commerce, providing more than 800 member companies with business solutions since 1984. The Buffalo Bills and the Pagula family have confirmed an agreement exists to transfer ownership of the Bills from the Wilson Family Trust to Terry and Kim Pagula. Sources began leaking the word hours after bidding for the Bills franchise closed at the end of Business Monday. By Tuesday afternoon, when the confirmations were released, it seems everybody in western New York already knew the Bills had prospective new owners. The agreement is still subject to approval by the NFL ownership at their next meeting in New York City on October 8th. Terms of the purchase weren't announced. The Buffalo News, though, reports it's around $1.1 billion. There are no surprises in New York's Democratic primary election. Governor Andrew Cuomo locked up the party's nomination with more than 60 percent of the vote statewide. Just over 35 percent voted for the more progressive Zephyr Teachout and just 4 percent for the very progressive Randy Credico. Cuomo issued a statement saying today's outcome is a testament to the progress we have made together over the last four years. Former Congresswoman Kathy Hochul of Buffalo beat her primary challenger, Tim Wu, 60 percent to 40 percent, and that keeps the Cuomo-Hochul ticket intact. Primary voting was light among Monroe County Democrats. Turnout in the city of Rochester, just over 7 percent, and in the suburbs, less than 5 percent. More than 4,000 law enforcement officers and first responders are in Rochester to memorialize slain Rochester police officer Darrell Pearson this morning. His funeral service begins at 11 at the Blue Cross War Memorial Arena in downtown Rochester. It is open to the public and the building opens at 9.30, parkings at Frontier Field and the Kodak office lots on State Street. No shuttle bus, so allow time for the walk up State Street to the arena because you're asked to be seated by 10.30. Amid all the attention being given to roads and bridges that are falling apart, New York State Comptroller Thomas DiNapoli has released a report that finds local governments are spending less on their infrastructure. DiNapoli says local capital spending on roads, bridges, and especially water and sewer systems actually dropped by 8% statewide between 2010 and 2012. Your next CNC podcast is whenever you click on one of these pages and catch one, we post updates as necessary. I'm Bud Lowell, CNC News.